Hello reformers and welcome back to Parisno. Now when we left off we were attempting to take the town of Leuven right here and well suffice it to say the Emperor turned up and I decided to hightail it out of there because I really did not want to fight him and his 426 units and he had a number of other people nearby as well which I wasn't really wanting to engage with. Anyway as you can see here, we do have a defector fighting one of these guys, which is, of course, one of our vassals. And we're going to try and help him out, and then maybe we'll take one of the nearby castles. I'm not entirely sure just yet what we will end up doing after the fight. But what I would like to do is try to take Reichberg back from the Zan dynasty. If we can take that back from them then we will be able to participate in an additional quest. And that's something that I've wanted to do for a while, but unfortunately the Zan, well, they kind of removed that option. So, yeah, we're going to have to do something about that. Anyway, let's go in against these guys. They do outnumber us at the moment. Well, technically they, out, they outnumber our, our friend, you know, our, our friendly vassal there. So anyway, let's take to the field and see what we can do. Now, I do have a number of additional hired foot knights here. I've been waiting for some time, just allowing our trainer skill to work its magic. And it is, it is absolute magic. It is doing an absolutely fantastic job so far. And we have, I think, 28 foot knights. And amusingly enough, I have about the same number in Dilak Castle. So if I were to go over there and pick those up, then we would have a pretty deadly force of foot knights. Now, what I've also done is I have removed the throwing weapons and the various other weapons that may make them a little bit less survivable. Because obviously, we want to make sure that they are the best when it comes to siege offense as that is the main reason why we have them after all isn't it so we do want to be very very careful with them and make sure that they survive as best as possible so obviously removing their throwing weapons and all that sort of thing that's obviously going to make a pretty big difference anyway let's let's just charge straight on in here why not let's charge straight on in here we are helping him out and this guy does not have the best units whatsoever he is using a lot of recruits and a lot of yeah, relatively low tier mid tier units so i don't really need to worry <laughs> Oh, I, I, yes, I'm still using this rapier, aren't I? Hmm, yes. I really do need to make sure that that is something that we swap out after this battle, so maybe if I keep talking about it, I'll remember, because you know me. Whenever I get out of a battle, I instantly forget whatever I was meaning to do. Oh, 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 oh we're, 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 we're penetrating that fellow's armor and other things. So, yes, come on now. Oh, no, never mind. Oh, well. I did deal a little bit of damage to him. Who is that? Is that... No, no, it's not the general himself. Who is it, though? It must be one of their knights. It was a regular rider? That is crazy. I think... Wasn't that a regular rider? Oh, I actually don't know. Ugh. Yes, I'm not very familiar with this faction's units, so obviously I'm going to just be like, Oh, is, is that a rider? Is that a an elite unit of some kind? Yeah. It looks like it was, but... Yeah, maybe not as not as high tier as the the other ones that the... Uh, oh, who's that guy again? I think it's Theobald or something along those lines. I think he defected to the Zan and he's using the ones, you know, the, the one kind of heavy cavalry unit that is very unique and extremely powerful. So anyway, there you go. We suffered no casualties whatsoever. Well, that's not a surprise, is it? I mean, yes... All right, yeah, we did turn up just, just in time. Are you going to give me some fantastic things? Oh, he did give me five relations. Okay, well, that's actually... Oh, well, it's all right, I guess. It's not particularly good. Okay, otherwise, we do have a couple of things here. Oh, yeah, by the way, I did change the weapon that the Foot Knights and the Veteran Warriors are using. Now, I love the Assassin Sword. I personally feel like the Assassin Sword is really, really cool, and I love using it myself. So I thought to myself, okay, well, that's going to be a great weapon for them. But then I thought to myself, okay, well, the reach on the Assassin Sword is maybe a little bit too much for sieges. You need something that's a little bit shorter, maybe something with, a, you know, I don't know, a little bit more adaptability. Yes, as you can see here, we have 28 foot knights and all that sort of thing. So I changed their weapon to a an axe of sorts. So... If you can just take a look here, there we go. They are using a speared war axe. This is the highest, well, 
I, I should say the highest tier, but it, it's more like the most expensive axe that I could get. So I suppose that's okay. Now, what I was using beforehand, I was using this beforehand, wasn't I? Now, of course, we do have the Kingslayer here. And sh shall we use that? Let's, u let's use the Kingslayer a little bit, because, I mean, we've got it. We might as well make, you know, good use of it, I suppose. Oh, uh, wait a minute. Am I, am I... Am I doing the wrong thing here? <laughs> I'm in the wrong menu, technically. I mean, I should really be going to my own character me Yes, it did not save those changes. Of course it didn't. Okay, yeah. So now, thankfully, that's done. He's safe. Can you please run? Yeah, there we go. He's now running away. Now, yes, as I said, I would like to take Reichberg back from the Zan, but I have a feeling there's going to be, I don't know, probably like 1,400 units there or something along those lines. So instead, I think what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to probably be taking these two castles if I can. And then we're probably going to try, well, I'm going to try maybe a little bit off screen to, oh, look at that. I can just wait for six more days here. That's fantastic. But yeah, off screen between episodes, I'll probably try and wear them down a little bit at Reichberg and see what happens there because at the moment I really can't be bothered with taking something that is 1400 units I mean we've had so many sieges regarding that but it is definitely something that I want to do eventually because of course then that enables us to get that fantastic companion that some of you have told me about as well so hopefully we'll be able to do that oh Makavir is attempting to get some rather large steps forward and they're maybe gonna no they may, may maybe gonna do a pretty decent job of it who knows anyway Kara and Alden have advanced in level as well and well let's see here five more days ah what do we have here uh, yes I was actually reminded of Falco from Smash Brothers from this guy's name but General Falcus is wanting to gut us like a fish well you look like a fish, so let's do it. Let's do this. 183 versus 260. So yeah, they have a, a pretty decent reinforcement here for the castle. We were literally, I think, about a day and a half away from constructing our siege tower. And you know me, I like to construct a siege tower just in case I can get in there immediately and try to tell the guy to surrender or whatever the case may be or maybe just head in there if I can't get him to surrender because obviously that requires some pretty decent timing on my part I'm gonna have to get them when they're below 20 units you know when they've obviously been knocked unconscious due to starvation under 20 units to be able to get that surrender that wonderful wonderful beautiful surrender but unfortunately that's not always the case so sometimes I do tend to you know get those pieces of siege equipment constructed just in case just in case that does not happen just in case I'm not lucky enough to get in there on the ground level and instead I have to go in and do it the old-fashioned way so let's see if we can maybe kill a couple of these guys well who are these guys by the way it doesn't seem like I can find that out because I'm not able to kill any of them which is hilarious enough anyway let's see if our rangers will be able to get a little bit better luck than I am okay could, could I could I get my infantry over here as well that would be nice there we go okay so how many cavalry do I have I have 40 cavalry Wow, crazy that's nice okay so I guess I'm gonna take some cavalry over here as well Maybe I want to tell my cavalry to follow me, actually. Oh, I very much hope that most of our cavalry are still on their mounts and they have not gotten off their mounts, because I do know that sometimes the AI is just like, oh, yes, I must dismount. I must dismount right now. I, yeah, I don't know why they do that. Oh, there's a Machiavian defector in this. Well, this is going to be interesting. Actually, I'm not particularly happy about that because Machiavian units are actually pretty decent, especially their crossbowmen. And I don't really want to be fighting those. Oh, there's a Turanian as well. Okay, seems like the Zan Dynasty are mostly made up of defectors, among other things, of course. Okay, so how's it going so far? Well, it seems to be going eh, reasonably well, I suppose. This is the first time, by the way, that we are using Kingslayer in an actual battle. So let's see if we can get some pretty nice luck here. Oh yeah, by the way, I also gave my foot knights and my various veteran warriors two shields. Because you can't have enough shields, right? <laughs> you can't have enough shields. Yeah, apparently 
you know, it's one of those things. Yo, dog, I put a shield in your shield so you can shield while you shield. You know, that kind of thing. Yeah, that's that's my thinking behind it. It's scientific. Don't don't argue with me. It's scientific. Anyway, we're gonna try and. Well, maybe we can try and take a couple of our cavalry around here. Maybe we can try and flank some of their archers and things like that. Yeah, would you believe it? We're playing on native AI and they're still not charging. I find that very strange. I mean, literally, you, you, you've seen my you've seen my settings. I am playing with charge enabled and all of that sort of thing. So it's very strange how that is still not happening. Maybe I need to just take another quick look at that and make sure that everything is as it should be. But anyway, I'm just going to charge in here, as you've no doubt seen. Yes, yes, we are already already charging straight on in here. Oh yeah, by the way, while I was waiting as well, a number of our companions also leveled up. And we've gotten a pretty decent amount. Yes, help me, foot knights. Yes. Anyway, yes, we've got a pretty decent amount of, well, trainer skill across the board, basically. So most of our units, most of our companions have about five at least in trainer now. Even Allendale, who is one of our lowest levels, has about five, six now. So he is, yeah, he's, he's well on his way to becoming an absolutely fantastic trainer because, of course, he has an amazing amount of intelligence as it is. Okay, so we are now having a couple of difficulties with our archers. So I'm going to tell them to charge in, mainly for the fact that they can deal some pretty decent damage in melee, and I don't want them to just kind of stand there and allow their neighbors to be uh, eliminated, because the people standing next to them, well, you know, they need their assistance. They need their assistance, and sometimes the AI does get a little bit weird when it comes to attacking things that are right next to them, and when they're in hold position, they tend to completely ignore that kind of assistance requirement. So, in other words, we need them to help out a little bit, so yes, hopefully we'll be able to do that. Ooh, there's a bunch of heavy crossbowmen here as well. Kingslayer, I I'm not entirely sure whether it's doing a very good job at the moment. I mean, yeah, it's doing about 40 damage and so on and so forth, and it does have a thrusting attack, which I think is definitely going to come in handy, because I I've missed using a bit of the thrusting, you know. But yes, I think in general it might might be a little bit better than what we had, but it, we do lose a little bit of damage from it, and obviously it does have that extra thrusting attack. So, anyway, are we going to take this guy prisoner? I don't think so. We're probably not going to take him prisoner, because we are going to get some honor for that, and we're going to get some relations, so hopefully when their faction gets eliminated, which is more than likely going to happen relatively soon, I hope, then we will be able to hopefully get them to join our faction, so hopefully that's going to be kind of nice. Anyway, so what do we have here? Improved crossbow. That actually looks really good. Maybe Kara could use that. Kara might benefit a lot from that, actually. So let's just take that just because. There we go. Okay, so as you can see here, yeah, we have about 23 hours remaining. And, oh no, I'm going to get... Ah, uh, General Attila. Oh, really? Really? Oh, look at that! When last we met, you had me at your mercy and allowed me to go free. I hope you enjoy toying with me like a cat with a mouse, because soon I will have you at my mercy. To slay or humiliate according to my fancy. And literally, he went down from four relation to minus eleven. That is hilarious. That is absolutely hilarious. You would think that he would be absolutely overjoyed that we let him go, instead of him languishing in one of our prisons. But, no, 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 he's absolutely fine with that. This is... Ah, uh, this is kind of when I wish I, I would execute a couple of people. And you can execute people, apparently, in Prisoner, so that's pretty cool. Anyway, let's see if... Oh, yeah, I didn't check my settings, did I? No, I didn't check that. Well, let's hopefully see them charge us, but it is night time. I very much hate fighting at night. Because there's, it's just not bright, there's no light, you know, that sort of thing. <laughs> uh, yeah, exactly. Oh, well, never mind. Okay, so these guys, of course, they are mostly Xan units, so they do not have any shields. And as well, some of them have shields. I should really correct myself on that. But anyway, the point is, is that some of them do have shields, but most of them do not. So this should be relatively easy for us, and I'm just firing blindly here. I'm literally not even trying to hit them, which is... Uh, uh, frankly, quite a waste of arrows, isn't it? Yes. Let's see if we can have a little bit more luck with our rangers here. Obviously, these guys, they are being a little bit smarter than their previous allies because they're hiding behind that hill over there. 
He won't be able to hide behind that hill forever. Our arrows have digging capability. No, they don't. But they don't know that. They don't know that. So, you know, be quiet. And just, you know, allow them to walk into our amazing digging arrows. Yes. As you can tell, I'm saying it a little bit louder because we want them to hear our advanced technology. Okay. So, I'm going to take my cavalry again. And hopefully... Wait a minute. Did I tell them to charge in? Did I, did I just tell them to charge in instead of follow me? Maybe I hit the wrong key there for a second. Maybe? Yep, I think I probably did. That was a bad idea, wasn't it? Yes. Yes, that was a very bad idea. But at least we are now behind their lines and I haven't been shot. So I suppose that's nice. So, yeah, I guess I can do a little bit of damage. Oh, yes. Okay, let's be a little bit careful here as well. Uh, yeah. Is it, is it going okay? Is it going okay? Yeah, it seems like it seems like our cavalry are doing a pretty decent job of things, actually. Alright. Well, I think if we want them to charge in, we should probably take out their lord. Apparently, there's some setting that is still preventing them from doing that, even though I have changed the AI. So, ah oh well, never mind. Okay, I guess I'm going to go and try and kill General Attila then. So they can throw themselves upon our swords and arrows. Yeah, I don't know how you throw yourself on an arrow, but okay. So, let's have a look here. Where is he? Is he is he the one on that horse there? Yep, he's going to be the one on that horse. I'm going to try and shoot him from behind because that's honorable. There we go. We've eliminated him. Take that. Yes. Okay, now hopefully these archers will all see fit to charge in. And they'll, you know, just absolutely murder themselves. I, I wouldn't have to murder them myself then. So, let's tell our infantry to charge in. How many infantry do I have? 85? Whoa, that's crazy. Okay, so that's definitely going to be an absolutely overwhelming advantage for us now. And, oh, I got shot just before I was about to kill that guy. Well, that's just my luck, isn't it? That is literally just my luck. Oh, well, never mind. We're pretty good. We're pretty good. I, I don't even need to fight, to be honest. I literally do not need, need to even fight here. I mean... Basically, the only reason I'm fighting right now is so that I can gain some experience because, obviously, Scout, you know, he needs his experience. He needs his daily experience. And that's that's definitely something that we will need to get him eventually to a well, high enough level to be able to use... Uh, well, actually, he is using that elven horse, isn't he? Yes, so... What, is, what, what other milestones does he have to reach? I don't know. But there you go. We eliminated all of them. Which is pretty fantastic to begin with. And yes, we just have some lamella armor there. And I still have not given Kara her crossbow. Ha! Ah. Okay, so let's go and do that. What is she actually using right now? She's using a light crossbow. So this is much better for her, as you can see. Well, actually, it does make her lose 20 speed rating. Which is pretty harsh. But she does gain over 20 damage from it. So I think we're probably going to be equipping her with that. I think that's a little bit better than what she had previously. And she's using a Nomad Saber. That's absolutely fine. I could give her that shield. Let's give her that huge shield. I mean, she doesn't really need to see because she's, she's an AI, right? Yeah. <laughs> ah, well, anyway, it seems like we are probably going to need to wait here for some time a little bit more. Alright, so I was actually attacked by General Richard once again, and he decided, hey, you know what, we're just going to run in there with 96. I don't know why he decided to do that, but yeah, we, we killed him relatively easily, and he actually charged in this time. So I actually don't know what the difference is between the other guys, maybe they were just, I don't know, I mean, you, they, they technically can't use tactics anymore, because we've given them the native AI, and they've also got charge on, so not entirely sure what was keeping them standing there, but yes, General Richard just charged in. So anyway, as you can see here, I was lucky enough to get the right timing down. And it seems like you don't need to be under 20 units, even though every single time I have attempted to, you know, threaten them or whatever the case may be, it's always required them to be under 20 units. So I, I, I guess there's just some sort of ratio involved here. Anyway, yes, there we go. You will not come under attack if you leave immediately. Hmm, exactly. All right, so as you can see here, we do have a bunch of freelancer recruits. I did get a real-time event that basically allowed me to take a couple of those. Now, I'm, I'm personally not a big fan of, well, t taking anyone else with the exception of maybe these Templars of Faith and, I don't know, maybe some of the Eagle Lords and things like that, because they're just fantastic units in my opinion. 
But anyway, we're going to be taking a bunch of these. I have no more space either in my army, so obviously it doesn't really make too much difference in me saying, oh, I'd rather take these over those, and so on and so forth. So anyway, I'm going to ask no rewards, or should I, should I, should I ask rewards? No, I'm going to ask no rewards. I really, I, I don't really want this castle, to be honest, and hopefully that will mean that they'll be able to give it to someone a little bit sooner. Anyway, seems like next time we're going to be attempting to take Reichberg back from the Zan dynasty, and hopefully that is going to result in us being able to acquire another quest. I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.